Last but surely not least, I pull the front to the back and I pull some of my guide from the hair that I already cut and I pull it like at a 45 degree angle and I catch some of the bottom and the bottom would be my original guide so the cut won't be so disconnected and I catch some of it and I cut up and I'm holding it here at a 45 degree angle and I'll take it all the way around like a rainbow until I can get to the other side of course. And don't be afraid to cut with the clippers. The clippers are friendly. It's not like the shears. And I'll bring this around to the other side as well. And I'll go underneath. I don't need that much here. And I'll catch that guy. But I'm cutting out, holding the hair at a 45 degree angle. And when I say cutting out, I'm pulling the hair. Let me show you. And I'm going underneath where my guide is. And I'm cutting out, not necessarily cutting a direct line. I'm I'm beveling out. So the cut is disconnected, but connected in a sense. And now I'm gonna cross check to make sure everything looks okay. And I'll do the same all over. So I'll, I'm gonna bevel out here as well. Holding it here at a 45 degree angle. That looks good, don't have to cut that. That looks good as well. This does too. All right, just a little bit. This has to get cut. All right, that's it for the cut. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now I'm going on to the molding technique.